welcome to another sessions of Career Byte. I am Neha Sarawat from Faculty of Engineering and Technology and today we have with us Dr. Mamta Dhaya, Dean Faculty of Engineering and Technology. Welcome ma'am to another sessions of Career Byte. Thank you Neha. Today we will talk about engineering. Ke bare mein. Uh, so ma'am what do you think about the paradigm shift which has come in the last 10 years in engineering? Actually, if uh, we are talking about the paradigm shift with the engineering, so there, is, there are the huge changes uh, and change uh, we are doing for the betterment of any of the department. So uh, a, this is the ever changing process and in fact we can say in the engineering the pace of the change is not rapid, in fact this is exponential. So if we do uh, just think about any of the technology that is available in the market uh, or you can see if we are even hearing about those kind of the technology. We are practicing in our real life. So even you are not able to identify the thing. So uh, if I do compare it with my you know previous experience how we have uh, gone through the engineering process uh, it was completely you know uh, we are learning the same kind of the technology for a long time and under the set of uh, fixed uh, you know practicals or like that but nowadays the change is so fast mm -hmm. and the students are more aware about the things they are uh, more aware uh, about the new technology they are doing the more practical stuff mm -hmm. they are having the project and the problem based uh, mm -hmm. orientation in fact the mode of learning become you know very uh, fabulous nowadays uh, they do have low of resources for example uh, they they are just uh, choosing some online mode of the learning they are working on the live project more frequently what we used to do in our time Absolutely. in fact uh, you know career options and the transparency of the things are uh, is also very much changed nowadays mm -hmm. uh, similarly in if we are talking about the teaching perspective. So at that time teachers, uh, the syllabus are not frequently changing but nowadays you will feel they, uh, we are thinking about something and uh, that is already the part of the industry and we have to prepare the student on the basis of the requirement of the latest needs. So uh, we need to frequently change our syllabus, we need to frequently uh, more into the practices yes. with the hands on problem based and social you know oriented kind of the stuff. So I personally feel uh, change is good but very fast so teachers also have to be uh, very much with the practice to uh, just receive and upgrade themselves uh, technically. Absolutely. So I feel uh, this is good and that, that is a need of uh, the society and the need of uh, the industry nowadays. So ma'am what are the career options students can opt after pursuing engineering? Engineering is very fascinating uh, field you can say and definitely if anyone is choosing their uh, career in the engineering or might be opting for these kind of the mm -hmm. studies after their uh, you know uh, schooling. Mm -hmm. So the reason behind that uh, they, uh, the scope of uh, you know career opportunities are huge. So particularly if I am uh, talking about the computer science uh, and the engineering, nowadays you will see uh, there are the huge requirement in mm -hmm. the market. This the market is not only the industry. Uh, you can just look after the uh, job in, with the government sectors. Mm -hmm. In fact, you know directly uh, there are the some recruitment process where defense itself is hiring the students uh, from the engineering background. So just like the industry, they are coming for the placement in mm -hmm. any of the organization. In the same manner, nowadays government, you know, research bodies like DRDO and uh, uh, defense services. So they are also hiring the student of the engineering. Mm -hmm. And uh, the most important industry uh, is the hub uh, for their co career opportunity. Absolutely. Uh, so uh, like uh, there are uh, no uh, as such uh, uh, things where uh, any student who is graduating with the engineering background they are 100% uh, they do have a very good packages uh, good uh, career opportunities but I personally feel uh, career is not a challenge for any of the background in mm -hmm. spite of that we are expecting the engineering student or any student should mm -hmm. be very much passionate about like what they want to pursue uh, as in a career. So uh, this uh, apart from the passion uh, because uh, that is the main you can say the backbone Bad behind bone. the success of uh, their life yes they must have certain kind of the skill set mm -hmm. uh, they uh, do have you know their behavior their attitude and uh, those Interest. kind of the academic excellence is uh, very much uh, you know required for that field so uh, there uh, there are no as such problems with the career opportunities uh, this is the one of the most booming area in the market Absolutely. where they can you know just 
get any kind of their uh, favorite job, including yes. all the different domains. Yes. It can be government, it can be industry, private, private or it can be any of the research organization. Yes. So I personally feel this is the best career option anybody can go ahead after the schooling. So I personally very much fascinate about the engineering. Yes, absolutely, ma'am. And as we are moving towards the startups nowadays, these uh, as an entrepreneur, the engineering students are doing very well by incorporating their learning into the their businesses and creating new apps and new business through their education. So uh, that is all based upon the project based learning and the new skills they are attaining. Uh, also, ma'am, there is this research orientation is coming in academics a lot. And so how research is uh, going to influence the engineering students? So I think now here you are asking me the two different questions. First, uh, I would like to answer you about the startups. So engineering is uh, not uh, dealing with the one particular you know field or the department. Yes. Either this is a computer science mm -hmm. or electronics or a mechanical. So every time uh, we have to uh, just work on the interdisciplinary or the multidisciplinary yes. environment. If we are talking or the thinking about the startup, mm -hmm. definitely uh, the student are uh, capable enough after completing their graduation in the engineering in either of the uh, domain but uh, just they have to work col uh, collaboratively with the different you know segment suppose uh, for example we are talking we have to work with the startup some kind of the you know uh, technology implementation for the agriculture Absolutely. nowadays like IOT give a beautiful solution mm -hmm. and very effective to solution the for the farmers mm -hmm. because uh, now like uh, if I am taking the example of the IOT mm -hmm. so here we are not only dealing with the computer science and engineering you have to have a very good knowledge of you know electronic and communication you should have a very good uh, uh, knowledge of the uh, different fields as well mm -hmm. and there's some knowledge of the agriculture mm -hmm. so in this manner like if we are talking in the integrated platform okay. so startup is a very uh, you know one of the most prone area where they can be into into the practices mm -hmm. and they can start their own businesses, businesses and small kind of the setup. So this is, you know, highly we recommend the student who are having a very good uh, practical approach yes. and uh, they are more into into the practices. And if I come to your another question, I have already answered you when we are thinking about the career option. So I have already told you, you know, research is the area. Again, uh, research is not dealing with a particular field. Mm -hmm. There are the huge technology in the market and they are you can see the trend uh, or the futuristic uh, technique okay. uh, for example we are talking about the metaverse we mm -hmm. are talking about the machine learning virtual AI, reality virtual VR, reality AR. exactly mm -hmm. and the more uh, in the in not only in the computer science like mm -hmm. the automations vehicles mm -hmm. are there robotics, robotics are, there. are there so in the metaverse you have to deal with you know uh, all the mechanical equipments also you have to talk about the computer science engineering mm -hmm. you have also used the need to require to understand the concept of the machine learning and mm -hmm. AI mm -hmm. and all the you know behind all those technology mm -hmm. data science is always there yes. because until unless, unless you don't have a very good experience with the data so analytics and the prediction how the machine is taking the decision become quite difficult yes. so again so like there yes to be the overall yes, yes. knowledge so, and exactly so if there is a need in the market mm -hmm. suppose if there is a need in market so that actually lead to the research, research. so if we are thinking about the virtual reality or something like that Definitely, uh, we need that students kind of students to approach and research to for work into that particular field. field. So there are again the huge opportunities with the research also. And most important thing I would like to address here and want to in, uh, just uh, uh, include here in our mm -hmm. conversation. Mm -hmm. You will see uh, nowadays uh, when uh, we were just passing out our engineering or uh, just completing our BTEC, we were having only opportunity either with the government sector or with the industry sector. Mm -hmm. But you will see nowadays all the industry do have a special segment and one branch that is the R&D in all the organizations. Yes. Now you can even after the PhD you mm -hmm. can go as in a research, research associate scholar. with the companies, companies as, well. as well. Like Google do have their research Absolutely. and development mm -hmm. uh, wing, uh, your Infosys, mm -hmm. your all the LinkedIn, every uh, you can say the renowned university, mm -hmm. all the MNC, they have, they have their, their segment where segments. The, they are hiring the students mm -hmm. only for the research purposes mm -hmm. so that they can uh, do the patent of their technology, they mm -hmm. can go ahead with the latest concept 
of the technology. So, research is again a very huge market for the engineering students. So, I personally feel this is a complete package either we are talking about the career opportunity, either we are talking about the research opportunities mm -hmm. or uh, to just work with the startup. So, I personally feel this is the best thing what we can offer in the engineering. Absolutely ma'am. Thank you so much ma'am for your valuable time. Welcome. I hope this session is informative for all of you. Thank you. Thank you.